In this movie tutorial, we'll cover over the basics of editing audio and MIDI with the Nuendo. Once you've finished viewing this tutorial and you want to learn more about editing, then you can jump right over to the editing topic, which provides a collection of detailed, in-depth tutorials covering everything there is to know about editing with the Nuendo. Whether you're editing audio, MIDI, samples, tempo data, or automation, you'll find that Nuendo offers similar editors and tools to perform all of your editing tasks. They offer a very straightforward, object-oriented style of editing. Basically, what you see is what you get. You won't find yourself getting lost within tons of hidden submenus and editors that can distract from the overall creative process and flow. First, there's a project editor. This is where you'll spend most of your time creating your songs, film scores, sound effects edits, and more. All your tracks are laid out for you on the left-hand side. Then you have blocks, or what we call events, represented over on the right. These represent the actual audio and MIDI information that you have either recorded or imported into the project. By using the main select tool, you can grab and move these events around anywhere you like within the timeline, making it a breeze to change and edit how your project is arranged. If you need to provide accurate movement based on a timing grid, then you can enable the snap function in the toolbar, and your movements will snap automatically to whatever format you have chosen in the timeline. Right now, I have bars and beats, and you can see that my movements are staying locked to a bar on the grid. If you need to snap to a different type of grid, then you can change the timeline format simply by right-clicking on a PC or control-clicking on a Mac on the timeline and choosing any format you like. If we choose seconds, then my movements will now snap to a grid based on actual seconds and minutes. I can easily go back to bars and beats if I want. If you need to trim events or change the size, you simply grab the handles and adjust it as necessary. Slicing them or cutting is as simple as choosing the slice tool and cutting it where you need to. And repeating is just as easy as selecting an event and choosing repeat from the edit menu. Type in the amount you wanted repeated and it's done. If you need to perform other editing tools, then you have a wide selection of tools available directly from the toolbar. These are covered in more detail than the Editing and Arrangement Tools tutorial in the Editing topic. And of course, you have your basic cut, paste, and copy commands available for whatever events you may have selected. Nuendo will simply paste the events directly where your playback cursor is. Next, you have Event Editors. Event Editors are made up of the Sample Editors, the Part Editors, and the MIDI editors. These are generally used to make detailed changes to the events that you have in your project. To access these, you simply double click on any event and the appropriate editor will appear. If it's an audio event, then the sample editor will appear. If it's a MIDI event, then a MIDI editor will appear. What I find great about Nuendo is that all of your editors have a similar look and feel to them, using the same toolbar with your editing tools, timeline functions, and more. This really makes it easy to move around from one editor to another without feeling confused or unsure of what this or that function does. Consistency and efficient workflow is the key here. To take this powerful editing environment one step further, you have specific context menus that offers you editing and processing commands for any event that you right-click or control-click on. Everything from editing tasks to audio sample processing, even plugins can be applied in an offline process to any individual event. This is true editing power at its best. How about automation? If you need to edit automation, it's as simple as pulling down the automation track for any track you have in your project. And you can use the same editing tools to change and manipulate your automation data. You can even view multiple automation tracks for any given track, making it easier to get a high-level view of the various types of automation you may have going on within a track. It also helps when you want more than one parameter to make the same automation movements. So, as you can see, there is no doubt that Nuendo leaves nothing behind when it comes to editing your audio tracks, 
MIDI tracks, track automation, and more. And we've just briefly covered over some of the basics. Wait till we get into more details within the editing topic.